hundreds of Ebola survivors may be at risk of carrying the virus for much longer than previously thought. Two new studies suggest that the disease can exist in the semen of male survivors for at least nine months after the initial infection. And further outbreaks of Ebola via sexual transmission cannot be ruled out. U.S. and Liberian researchers found that a Liberian woman was likely to have been infected by an Ebola survivor about six months after he was infected. Another study funded by the World Health Organization, Centers for Disease Control and the Sierra Leone government founded traces of Ebola virus in semen samples from a group of 93 survivors. Clearly this is uh, something that uh, does not happen extremely frequently, especially considering how many Ebola cases there have been overall in the epidemic. However, um, we do uh, want to uh, really uh, make sure that this is something that um, is, is uh, really uh, addressed as much as we possibly can because any new case of Ebola could spark another epidemic. The study is ongoing and more conclusive results are expected later. Researchers cannot say how long signs of Ebola might exist or if the traces of the virus discovered in bodily fluids were live or infectious. They also cannot answer if women survivors can also carry the virus. We're looking at things like sweat, um, oral fluids, vaginal fluid, breast milk. Um, we uh, would like to uh, look at all of these different fluids to uh, be able to understand if virus might be present in them after a person has recovered from Ebola virus disease. There's been growing concern about relapse after a British nurse who survived the Ebola virus in Sierra Leone fell critically ill again. Yeah, I was definitely frightened, but Ebola is so unpredictable. But Pauline's condition is being treated as an exceptional case. Doctors say they have not recorded any other survivor who's had a relapse. The Ebola epidemic killed more than 11,000 people, mostly in Guinea, Liberia and Sierra Leone. And for people who lived through the outbreak, the fear that the virus may return still remains. Sama Benjaved, Al Jazeera.